Hello and good morning friends. Welcome to the CEC Edisit Live Lecture. Dear friends, as you know that we are carrying with a series on marketing management and uh, so far we have uh, conducted three lectures. This is the fourth lecture in this series. Uh, we uh, tried to understand about what is uh, marketing management in uh, our introductory lecture. Then uh, we uh, come to know what uh, are the various tools, what are the concepts, what is the meaning and what is the scope of marketing management. Today also we are going to talk on one of the most uh, important tool of marketing and that tool is marketing mix. Dear friends, for this we have again with us in our studios Dr. Subhash Kakkar who is handling uh, this particular series on marketing management and I hope that the way he used to deliver his lectures with ample of examples uh, with good graphics, uh, I hope that this lecture is going to be one of the most productive sessions. So without wasting any time, I would like to welcome our guest Dr. Subhash Kakkar. Dr. Kakkar, welcome to the Edisit Lecture. Thank you and welcome viewers to today's lecture. This is again a part of series on marketing management. This lecture we are going to devote to an important tool, the marketing mix. Any company, any organization, when it launches a product certain things are to be decided so that the launching of the product is a success. The marketing mix is a tool to achieve that. It is a combination of different actions which are to be taken to meet the success. In what proportion and these actions be taken into account is again given by this marketing mix tool. So today we are going to discuss the marketing mix. Marketing mix is a business tool used in marketing and by marketers. Organization gives this responsibility to the marketing department or the marketers. That is why this action is taken care of by marketing function in any organization. The marketing mix is often crucial when determining a product or brand's offer and is often associated with the four P's and these four P's are price, product, promotion and place. The marketing mix is well known by these four P's, price, product, promotion and place. The marketing mix refers to the set of actions or tactics that a company uses to promote its brand or product in the market. And right proportion of these, these actions is suggested by this marketing mix tool. Now we will define this marketing mix. The marketing mix refers to the set of actions or tactics that a company uses to promote its brand or product in the market. We can also say that both brand and product can also be promoted under the umbrella of this tool, the marketing mix. Four P's are, now we will concentrate on the four P's, product, price, place, promotion. But what do we mean by the marketing mix? when we are to take care of the product, price, promotion and the place. The concept is simple. Think about another common mix, a cake mix. All cakes contain eggs, milk, flour and sugar. However, you can alter the final cake by altering the amounts of mix elements contained in it. So for a sweet cake, add more sugar. All these constituents are the ingredients while making a cake can be mixed in different proportions. So is the case of the marketing mix. Our actions that is four P's are taken into account different proportions depending upon the product taken into account. Marketing mix, it is the same with marketing mix. The offer you make to your customer can be altered by varying the mix element. 
So for a high profile brand, increase the focus on promotion and desensitize the weight given to the price. So these actions are mixed in different proportions, again depending on the product and the customer. Another way to think about the marketing mix is to use the image of an artist palette. Marketing mix, the marketer mixes the prime colors, that is mix elements in different quantities to deliver a particular final color. Every hand painted picture is original in some way as is every marketing mix. So every marketing mix is different and it depends upon the product and the customer to be handled. Competition, again we are focusing on these four P's of the marketing mix, product, price, place and the promotion and which is covered by the target market and we have the constraints. So there are total six things we are discussing, four P's of the marketing mix and the target market and the constraints under which we are to work. Designing the right marketing mix, the most creative and challenging step in marketing mix is designing the right marketing mix. The marketing mix is the specific collection of actions and associated instruments employed by an organization to stimulate acceptance of the ideas, products and services and this is given by the right marketing mix. Total offer to the customer, first the firm chooses the product to meet the identified need of the target segment. The second is the right distribution channel is used to make the product available to the customer. Third is the firm undertakes eye-catching promotion and the fourth is a price platform is acceptable to the customer and the firm. All these four steps are taken into account while promoting a product or the brand. Four P's are there and four C's are also there. Four P's and the corresponding four C's are also there. Product, when we talk about first P, product and the corresponding C is customer or consumer. Price and we have customer cost, place, convenience and promotion, communication. So four P's and four C's are there. Four C's, the four P's is also being replaced by the four C's model consisting of consumer, cost, convenience and communication. The first C's model is more consumer oriented and fits better in the movement from mass marketing to niche marketing. Product consumer, the product part of the four P model is replaced by consumer or consumer models, shifting the focus to satisfying the consumer. So in this case, we are to satisfy the customer, that should be our aim when we are carrying out the marketing mix actions. The price cost, pricing is replaced by cost, reflecting the reality of the total cost of ownership and place convenience. Place is now re being replaced by convenience, placement is replaced by the convenience function. With the rise of internet and hybrid models of purchasing, place is no longer as relevant as before. It is obvious because now we do not go to the markets to buy the products. We have internet shopping available to us. When we talk about internet shopping, place does not have any meaning at all. We place the order on internet and we receive the material we receive the product. That is why place is now being replaced by convenience. We want convenience in procuring the items and pay. this place may not have any meaning in nowadays contest. With the rise of internet and hybrid models of purchasing, place is no longer as relevant as before. 
convenience takes into account the ease to buy a product, find a product, find information about a product and several other considerations and these are with respect to convenience to be provided to the customer as far as the place of procurement of the product is concerned. Promotion, now we will talk about communication. Finally, the promotion feature is replaced by communication. Communications represents a broader focus than simply promotions and this does not cover only the advertisement. It covers lot more than the advertisement. Communications can include advertising, public relations, personal selling, viral advertising and any form of communication between the firm and consumer that promotes the product or its brand. Extended marketing mix. Now we have extended marketing mix also available to us. The ordinary marketing mix and now we have to talk about the extended marketing mix. There have been attempt to develop an extended marketing mix to better accommodate specific aspects of marketing. For example, in the 1970s, Nichols and Jelson suggested the inclusion of packaging also in the marketing mix because again this is an important factor which attracts the customer to decide about buying the product. In the 1980s, Kotler proposed public opinion and political power also to be included in the marketing mix. Now we will see what we are going to add to make it extended marketing mix. Booms and Bittner. Booms and Bittner included three additional P's to accommodate trends towards service or knowledge based economy. First P which is added is people. All people who directly or indirectly influence the perceived value of the product or service including knowledge workers, employees, management and consumers. Second P to be added is the process, procedures, mechanisms and flow of activities which lead to an exchange of value should be added to the original marketing mix. And the third P to be added is covering physical evidence, the direct sensory experience of a product or service that allows a customer to measure whether he or she has received value. Examples might include the way a customer is treated by a staff member or the length of time a customer has to wait or a cover letter from an insurance company or the environment in which a product or service is delivered must also be considered what the people have thought about it. So three more P's are added in the original marketing mix. Now we talk about instead of four P's, seven P's and these seven P's are now listed here in this diagram. The marketing mix is now covering seven P's, price, product, promotion, place, people, process and physical environment. This is the extended marketing mix. Booms and Bittner included three additional P's to accommodate trends towards a service or knowledge based economy, people, process and physical evidence. And these additional P's are again given in this diagram, people, process and physical evidence, the extended marketing mix. And people, all people who directly or indirectly influence the perceived value of the product or service must also be included and the including knowledge workers, employees, management and consumers must also be considered while preparing the marketing mix for any product or a brand. Process, process covers procedures, mechanisms and flow of activities which lead to an exchange of value. So process should also be considered. Physical evidence, the direct sensory experience of a product or service that allows a customer to measure whether he has received value or not. 
that is very important. Examples might include the way a customer is treated by staff member. When we go to the service industry for getting our car service, the way <coughs> the receptionist treat the customer is again very important and it leaves an everlasting impression on the customer. So, based on this experience only, he will come there again or he will not go there at all. So, that experience is included in the physical evidence. Now, the examples might include the way a customer is treated by a staff member or the length of time a customer has to wait for a certain thing or a cover letter from an insurance company or the environment in which product or service is delivered. So, all these are very important. I would say this is this gives a soft touch to the customer. This soft touch satisfies the customer and this is very important and this is also included in the marketing mix and this is known as extended marketing mix. Physical evidence is the material part of a service. Strictly speaking, there are no physical attributes to a service, so a consumer tends to rely on material cues. Any manufacturing unit, any service unit is not purely manufacturing, not purely service industry. Manufacturing industry has some portion of service included in. So, maybe it is 90 percent of manufacturing and 10 percent of service and similarly service industry is not purely service industry. It includes around say 10 percent of manufacturing also. When we talk of hospitality, it is totally service industry, but it covers 10, 15 percent of manufacturing because it produces food etcetera also which is given to the customers. So, any service in industry may be 90, 95 percent it is service, but 10 percent or 5 percent it is manufacturing also. Any manufacturing industry covers some portion of service industry also. So, we have to see the services provided by the company to the customers and the way these services are provided. So, those are very important and these are covered under physical evidence. Under physical evidence, there are many examples of physical evidence including some of the following. Under physical evidence, we cover packaging also. Packaging must also be very good looking aesthetic. If we see a some, something good looking, we like to buy that product, we like to have that product. If the packing is bad, first impression of the product will be bad. We will not like to buy that product unless we are told other things like features of the product. So, packaging is given due and vital importance. Internet web pages regarding the product, regarding the services, paperwork such as invoices, tickets and dispatch notes and brochures etcetera given by the company to the customers play a vital role in the eyes of the customer to decide whether to buy the product or not. Again physical evidence, furnishings, signages such as those on aircraft and vehicles, uniforms, business cards, the building itself such as prestigious offices are scientific headquarters. They are very important. The uniforms being used by the employees of the company must be impressive. Articles being used by the employees of the company again must be attractive. Business cards given to the customers by the employees of the company must be good without any defect and furnishings and the furniture used by the company in their offices must also be very good looking and attractive. So, 7 P's and 7 C's we are discussing. Then the 7 P's and the corresponding 7 C's. 7 P's are organization facing, 
सेवन सीज आर कस्टमर फेसिंग प्रोडक्ट कस्टमर ऑब्लिक कंज्यूमर प्राइस कॉस्ट प्लेस कन्वीनियंस एंड प्रमोशन कम्युनिकेशन पीपल केयरिंग प्रोसेस इज कोऑर्डिनेटेड फिजिकल एविडेंस कन्फर्मेशन सो वी हैव नाउ काउंटेड सेवन पीस एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो काउंटेड सेवन सीज कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू सेवन पीस फंडामेंटल एक्शंस द टर्म मार्केटिंग मिक्स हाउ एवर डज नॉट इम्प्लाइ दैट द फोर पी एलिमेंट्स रिप्रेजेंट ऑप्शंस so these are not options these are the list of actions to be taken by the companies marketing department for launching a product for promoting a product or promoting the brand they are not trade offs what are fundamental marketing issues that always need to be addressed they are the fundamental actions that marketing requires whether determined explicitly or by default so these are the fundamental actions fundamental issues to be addressed by the marketing people without addressing these fundamental issues the launching of a product or launching of the brand will not be a success to meet the success all these issues are to be taken into account before starting any action and this action is to be started by marketing function of the organization product a product service or idea is that which satisfies the need and wants of the customer here we have to concentrate the needs demands and the wants of the customer because our ultimate aim is to satisfy the customer by providing him the product and this product can be in the form of a manufactured product it can also be in the form of a service industry product like banking they provide different products and their products are maybe loans home loans car loans education loans etc all these are products of banking service so these are products of service industry we have manufactured products and these products when decided by the organization must satisfy the customer needs unless these needs are satisfied we cannot have a success in launching the product product a tangible object or an intangible service that is mass produced or manufactured on a large scale with a specific volume of unit and this is the meaning of the product any tangible means manufactured product and intangible service product and these two are the products and they are produced in large quantities depending upon the demand forecast of that particular product intangible products are often service based like the tourism industry at the hotel industry or codes based products like cell phones load and credits so now this defines the product in manufacturing unit as well as in the service unit typical examples of mass produced tangible objects are the motor cars automobiles garments and the disposable razors a less obvious but ever present mass produced services is a computer operating system again this gives examples of mass produced products and the products related to the service industry we'll show you some of the products cars different types of cars different makes of cars again cars different makes different specifications for different segment of customers and they are priced also differently again we are talking about cars cars again differently priced for different people 
and different comfort depending upon the pocket of the customer. So, product gives what? Variety, quality, design, features, brand name, packaging and service and the service is after sales service attached to the product. So, one is the first one is the variety of the product, different variants of one particular product are available and are manufactured by the manufacturing company. Different variants produced are to satisfy different segments of the market. Quality again is to be given utmost importance. Without quality, one cannot survive in the market. Quality is the only factor which is being liked by each and every customer. Design, again design feature should be perfect and what all attributes and the features are provided onto the product again give a decision parameter for deciding whether to buy the product or not. Brand name and brand name loyalty is there, packaging what sort of packaging is used and after sale service is also given utmost importance while deciding on purchasing the product because the customer want that after sales service should be perfect without any hurdles, without any problems. Product variety, even today manufacturers of products which are built to customer order for example, cars, aeroplanes and medical equipment offer such a large range of combinations of product features that millions of variants of a single product are possible. So, variety of products are available, variety of products are manufactured by the manufacturing companies. Commercially available software systems support the automation of many aspects of the engineering processes. Product databases enable the description of single products and engineering applications can use these product descriptions and to carry out different tasks. Different features are available, different combination of these features are available and these make enormous number of product variety. So, product variety is also given importance while deciding on purchase of a product. Next is the product quality, a product or process that is reliable and that perform its intended functions is said to be a quality product. Quality in business has an interpretation as the non-inferiority or superiority of something. So, we want the quality product, customer wants the quality product. Quality is a perceptual conditional and somewhat subjective attribute and may be understood differently by different people. I like after sale service, I like reliability of the product, I like good looking product, I like low price product, everyone gives a different perception to the quality. Consumers may focus on the specification quality of a product service or how it compares to competitors in the marketplace. Product design can be defined as the idea generation, concept development, testing and manufacturing or implementation of a physical object or service. And the key point to be noted is design and the design process should be such that we do not take much time in designing the product and launching the product or giving the product to the market. So, different tools are available for designing the product nowadays. Brand name, the brand name is often used interchangeably within brand, although it is more correctly used to specifically denote written or spoken linguistic elements of any product. In this contest, a brand name constitutes a type of trademark 
if the brand name exclusively identifies the brand owner as the commercial source of product or services. So brand name is also to be given importance. Product instruments that aim at satisfaction of the prospective exchange parties needs. Examples, product characteristics, options, assortments, packaging, guarantees, quality, features, style, brand name, size and packaging, services, warranties and guarantees, returns and replacements, all are part of a product only. Titan introduces quartz watches, 24 hour banking at ATMs by banks, tetra pack cartons for milk juices, indoor coolers and maybe 7 year warranty on refrigerators. Again, these are part of the product. Now, we will talk about an example. Nirma company, they also had a marketing mix. Their product was washing powder. Price, they decided on penetrating policy. Promotion, ad, at that runs in every house. Place, product reaches masses. What do I mean by penetrating policy? On the price front, the price is kept so low that it goes to each and every corner of the country. Low income group buy that product. We will see how this company progressed. Just look at the video which is being shown. And this was the first video. So this was the ad which was used by Nirma company. This ad went inside the heart of every customer, every consumer. They priced it so low that their market share increased like anything. Who was the person behind it? Dr. Karsan Bhai Khodidas Patel, rags to riches, Nirma's owner. Early life of this person, Karsan Bhai Khodidas Patel was born in 1944 in northern Gujarat to a farmer family. He finished his B.Sc. in chemistry at age 21. Thereafter, he joined new cotton mills in Ahmedabad as a lab technician. He later joined the geology and mining department of the state of Gujarat. In 1969, while still employed, Karsan Bhai started making handmade quality detergent in his home as a means to earn some side income. Naming it Nirma after his daughter Nirupuma, it was run as a one-man enterprise utilizing indigenous technology for product creation. He would bicycle through the local neighborhoods to sell the detergent on the way to work. Most detergents at that time were priced at around rupees 13 a kg. Nirma was priced at rupees 3 a kg. 10 rupees difference per kg of the product. So low priced product. Nirma was an instant success in the local neighborhoods and offered great value as a high quality product for a low price. 
after three years of reaping profits, Karsan Bhai left his job and set up a small workshop in suburb of Ahmedabad. Nirma Revolution. Nirma revolutionized the detergent market, which had been dominated by big multinational billion dollar companies such as Hindustan Lever and Procter and Gamble. Again, we are talking about Nirma revolution, effectively targeted low income families, a large class of society that had been ignored by established companies. Within a decade, Nirma became the largest selling detergent in India. After establishing its leadership in economy price detergents, Nirma's foray into the premium brand segment for soap and detergents was equally successful. Nirma expansion, Nirma's annual sales touch 800,000 tons, making it one of the largest volume sales with a single brand name in the world. Nirma and society. Nirma was made of an innovative formula which was phosphate free and deemed environmentally friendly. Since the process of manufacturing Nirma detergent was labor intensive, they became a leading employer in India. Currently, Nirma employs over 14,000 individuals. Nirma and its products. Super Nirma detergent, Nirma Shud salt, and Nirma beauty soap, and Nirma sandal. Perfection of the four Ps. Why well, have given the story of Nirma just to elaborate give you an example of our marketing mix and how this marketing mix is used by different companies to meet the success. This example is a perfect example of four Ps. Now we'll see how these four Ps work for Nirma. Product, these are the products which were launched by Nirma company. And these products, the owner decided that he will be able to handle these products perfectly without having any problem. That is the main and that should be the main aim of any owner of any company. The product should be such that the owner has a good and the perfect control on the product. And the price, next P is the price. This owner of this company price the product so low and this was a policy decision whether to have a penetrating policy, whether to have a skimming policy. This company owner decided to price it low. There must be some reason behind keeping the price so low. The reason was he wanted to reach almost every customer who buys this detergent powder. Now we see the price. This product was priced at rupees three a kg, where the competition available at that time was selling at rupees thirteen a kg, more than four times the price what this small company started charging. Place. The company decided to place the product in the local villages so that local village come population must receive the benefits of this low price product. This company introduced a revolution in the villages instead of using normal ways of washing, they started using this washing powder. And the last P is promotion, same advertisement for 30 years. I have given you an example of this advertisement which was remarkable and which revolutionized the entire concept of advertisement in the company and in the total fraternity. 
So, these are cornerstones of marketing used and employed by a small company who achieved a great success and rightly we say that from rags to riches. Nirma market share. Nirma is the largest detergent brand with a market share of 38 percent and the second largest toilet soap brand in India with a market share of 20 percent. This is only because of judicially, logically and intelli intelligently using the four P's of the marketing mix. Nirma's annual turnover is over rupees 2500 crores. Dr. K.K. Patel in the present, currently Dr. Karsan Bhai Patel is worth over 640 million US dollars, that is 2880 crores. Served as chairman for two terms to the government of India's development council for soaps and detergents as president of Gujarat Detergent Manufacturers Association. Dr. K.K. Patel in the present is a recipient of various awards and accolades, including Udyog Ratna by Federation of Association of Small Scale Industries of Gujarat, Outstanding Industrialist of 80s by Gujarat Chamber of Commerce and Industry Ahmedabad, Gujarat Businessman Award in 1998 by Gujarat Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Excellence in Corporate Governance Award by Rotary International District 2000. Philanthropic efforts started the Nirma Education and Research Foundation to oversee an institute of technology, train leading engineers and an institute of management business. Nirmal Labs education project was aimed at training and incubating entrepreneurs. And this is the importance being given to CSR, corporate social responsibility by this company. And this has been achieved only by proper use of the marketing mix, achieving success and passing on the benefits to others. Summary, K.K. Patel started making handmade detergent from his house, sold about 15 to 20 packets at rupees 3 a kg, around rupees 50 per day. Eventually, he left his job seeing an opportunity to make a massive enterprise. Currently, the company is the leading seller of detergents in India and is trying to become an international player. It is all started as a means to earn side income and at that stage I had never imagined this kind of success. This is written by K. K. Patel. This is he calls accidental fortune. Starting with the lack of any such precedent in my family made the venture fraught with fear of failure. But farmers from North Gujarat are known for the spirit of enterprise. Now we will talk about another company, Nike, who hit the ground running in 1962. Earlier this company was known as Blue Ribbon Sports. Nike decided to focus on running shoes, signed agreement with sportsmen and leading sportsmen to become the ambassadors of their product. Nike gave the first ad, aired the first ad with a budget of 20 billion dollars and phrase given to this product, this ad was just do it. And this is also, and this was also part of their 
marketing mix. One of the P's, promotion, and it was given due importance, and the Nike company progressed like anything. The campaign featured 12 TV spots. I will see one of the spots of this company. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is a gift reserved for a chosen few. This ad had an effect for superstars in the hearts and the minds and the rest of us can of only the stand customers. by watching. You can forget that. Greatness is not some rare DNA strand. It's not some precious thing. Greatness is no more unique to us than breathing. We're all capable of it. All of us. Some people are told they were born with greatness. Some people tell themselves. If greatness doesn't come knocking at your door, maybe you should go knock on its door. Sometimes greatness is about overcoming insurmountable adversity. Sometimes it's just fun. Greatness isn't always measured in tenths of a point. It's a bit bigger than that. Sometimes greatness is something you plan. But most of the time, it's just something you try. It's easy to think greatness is only something you see on TV. Unless, of course, greatness is watching TV. Greatness is a scary thing. Until it isn't. If we think greatness is supposed to look a certain way, act a certain way, and play a certain way, we certainly need to rethink some things. Is it speed or endurance? Does it happen in two hours or four or six? Is it finishing strong or barely finishing? Yes. Is greatness worth fighting for? What do you think? If we face our fears, it means we're pointed in the right direction. Even if that direction is upside down. It's not the biggest stadium in the world. Not the biggest players either. But the pursuit of greatness is kind of big enough, isn't it? You don't need an official court, an official net, or official uniforms to be officially great. Greatness speaks for itself. Once it learns to talk.
greatness needs a lot of things. But it doesn't need an audience. Some measure greatness in precious metals, like iron. Greatness is not born. It's made. If you'd like to tell the guy with the sword he's not great because he's not famous, be my guest. There are no grand celebrations here, no speeches, no bright lights. But there are great athletes. Somehow we've come to believe that greatness is reserved for the chosen few. For the superstar. The truth is, greatness is for all of us. This is not about lowering expectations. It's about raising them for every last one of us. Because greatness is not in one special place. And it is not in one special person. Greatness is wherever somebody is trying to find it. So this inspired entire world as far as Nike is concerned. Nike had a name because of these ads and these ads, these promotional activities were part of their marketing mix and they used this marketing mix tool to the fullest extent and reap the results. What we see, they have a name in the market. And these are some of the products we are showing. They use their promotional activities. Again, some of the products FMCG. Look at these products, aesthetics of these products, how the packaging is done how attractive these packets are. Again, the product, different products, these are consumer durable products. First, we concentrate on the product and its quality, so that customer needs and customer wants are satisfied. Then we make the product so good looking that everyone who looks at the product, tries to buy the product. Look at these, increase in mobile services in India and top 10 telecom and mobile business ideas in 2006 are given in this slide. Product durable, washing machines and their features and their aesthetics and their operations, after sales service and the quality are important things for introduction of any product. Again a product, motorbikes, again looking at good looking, highly quality product as far as reliability is concerned, 100 percent reliability. Products, latest gadgets, the company in the business must provide the latest technology to the customer in its products. New generation products, iPod and Walkman mobile and these are given by different companies with latest features 
and when we provide the latest features in the product, these should be known to the customer. How these are known to the customers through promotional activities. Nowadays, IT and information technology is developing so fast that ideas generated today and within seconds, these are passed on to different people, different customers all over the world. And this is the development of the information technology. When we have a product, when we have a product with new features, and the information should be passed on to customers spread all over the world. Services, courier, aviation, a number of companies are carrying out courier business. Again, this is a service industry. Politeness in the service industry is given the most importance. And the quick and the quickness in the service is also given utmost importance. If the things are delayed, then service is of no use. And these are the features to be provided in the service products. Dispatch. Again, different companies are available in this business. Depending upon their performance, the customer choose them. Modern gadgets, iPods, with latest features are available. As I have already told, these latest features must also be spread all over the world. And now we have the benefits of IT. With us, using IT, we can have our communication across the world. Aviation, Lot of progress and development has been done in aviation field also. Everyone in the industry, whether it is manufacturing, whether it is service industry, has used the benefits of four Ps. And now the same four Ps we have extended marketing mix in the form of seven Ps. Place. Place represents the location where a product can be purchased. It is often referred to as the distribution channel. It can include any physical store as well as virtual stores on the internet. Presently, we have physical stores and we have virtual stores. What are these virtual stores? These are, these are corresponding to internet shopping. People don't maintain the stores. The companies do not maintain the store. The moment they get the order from the customer, the fellow who is manufacturing that product is informed to supply the product to the customer through the courier. So this is the meaning of virtual stores. Instead of having physical stores, now people are maintaining virtual stores. And this is corresponding to the place. Physical distribution are activities involved in transporting products from the producer to the consumer. Mode of transport, warehousing and storage, order processing, inventory control again are to be covered under place, which is one of the P's important for marketing mix. Channels of distribution are the routes through which the ownership of goods flow on its way from the producer to the customer. Distributor, super stockists, wholesalers, retailers, etc. So viewers, today we discussed what is the marketing mix, which is a tool available to the marketers, to the organizations, and their marketing department. This marketing tool gives them the different actions. And the mix 
different actions in different proportions to satisfy the customers and this mixture depends on the product and the brand to be promoted. I hope I am able to make the things clear to the viewers. Thank you so much. With this note, thank you, sir. Thank you so very much for giving us a very productive session. Thank you. Thank you.